Dr. Buford, uh, can you angle that TV a little more towards us? The, this one right here? We're just getting started in your right shoulder. We examined your shoulder before we started, and there was a lot of instability, both instability, both anterior and posterior. So we know we're going to have to really do a lot to, to uh, stabilize the shoulder here. We're getting our first look from the back of the shoulder towards the front. You can see we've got two cannulas coming in the front. There's a blue plastic one and a gray plastic one. With this gray one, we can tug on the biceps tendon. The tendon's the left side of the cannula. As you tug on it, you can see how you have what we call a slap lesion. We talked about this. This type 2 slap lesion that goes along with instability uh, often. We'll look down the front of the shoulder, and you can see this instability. Give me some kind of crochet hook or point on the probe or something. You can see this bank art lesion in the front. See that? Where this is all not normal. Not only is it torn, but it's pushed down medial. It should be sitting up hard high on the on the rim of the glenoid, and it's not. There's really not much definition in this anterior glenoid the humeral ligament anterior band of the inferior glenoid humeral ligament. And as you come to the back of the shoulder, you can see the labrum, but it's certainly torn there. And this posterior capsule is quite loose as well. So we're going to be placing anchors basically every place, just because the labrum is uh, damaged circumferentially. A bit of good news is that the rotator cuff looks fine here at the top of the screen. No sign of any problems with the rotator cuff, so that's good. I don't see any significant bone loss on the glenoid, which is something else that we have to assess as we decide what the best thing to do for you is your glenoid looks reasonably intact, actually. And then finally, we'll look at the humeral head and see if there's any significant bone loss here. And, um, and the good news there is that I don't see any significant bone loss on the humeral head either. It's not even really a significant no sense, which is indicative of how loose the shoulder really is. So we're going to go ahead and get to work here. We're going to put the camera in the front and start our work actually in the back. All right, so we're working. Okay, so now we're looking from the front to the back. This is the back of your shoulder. We have this yellow cannula coming. I'm just trying to back out this yellow cannula just a little bit. Just gets a little more room. And so now you can see how this labrum is torn and not normal here. See all through here? And that's why we're going to use suture anchors. Okay, so we're using this instrument just to roughen up the capsule a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put a shaver in just a little bit, but I don't want to shave away too much of this. Shaver in the back, please. There's the shaver. It has suction attached to it. Okay, so now we're going to take our spinal needle, needle, how much is solid? Okay, so here's our needle coming in, this allows us to plan the placement of the suture anchor, the edge of the cartilage is right there. I think we're going to place our first anchor down right about here. That looks like a good spot. Either one of those ones. Okay, so here's the drill guide. After drilling a hole in the bone, we're going to go ahead and tap the anchor down. The mallet. And then once it's all the way down, we can go ahead and Pull out, pull back to seat the anchor like that. And now we've got these sutures to work with. So we're going to pass one suture posterior. 
out of the tip there. And so we start here where we'd like the tip to come out. We rotate back. That puts us in a spot right about here in the capsule. You see how far away I've got to go to get to the capsule. That's a real sign of capsule relaxity there. End of the capsule. Pull towards us. So here's our, um, our second anchor. The first one we tied the knot already. It looks good. And like I said, even though your primary direction of instability was anterior, you would easily dislocate out the back also. And, uh, and now we're just going to repeat the process. another suture that you see there, okay? Okay, so we're doing this one as a mattress stitch, and um, you'll see the difference in just a minute here, once you pull that tight. So now I've got this mattress stitch going across, that looks good. We're going to go ahead and tie this, and I think after tying this, we'll be done with our reconstruction in the back of the shoulder here. Okay, so now we've got the mattress stitch tied, and that looks good. You can see we tried to create a new bumper in the back of the shoulder there and tighten the capsule. Now we're going to get to work down the front of the shoulder. And uh, got a lot of work to get done there, so I'll show you some more in just a minute. Okay, so here's a pretty good demonstration of a bank guard lesion. I really haven't removed or debrided anything yet. This is just probing the injury. It's all just sitting right there detached from the bone. Okay, so there's our second anchor in the front. We're going to reach in and take out another one of the sutures just like that. And then we'll push in this. That looks good. You can just get a glimpse of our first suture down there. And I already look how much tighter the shoulder is. I'm very happy with the, uh, the results so far. We'll put in the hook here. Here we're going to rotate back, and we usually go into the capsule just above the first suture, about like that, like you see there. We'll rotate, and we'll back up and come underneath the labor.
passed and tied. We're going to go ahead and place a third, and then of course you still got that biceps tendon anchor to worry about that slap lesion also. But I'm going to place one more anchor right about here. I'll show you some more in just a minute. Okay, so that's our third suture passed and tied in the front. And you can notice how much tighter it is overall. We're very happy with that. We've still got this biceps anchor to reattach. But as far as the instability from uh, the label detached, I think we've got that repaired. And that looks pretty good. So we're going to put the camera in the back where that yellow cannula is. So we'll go off on the video and do that. Slightly different shapes, see different shapes suture about there, you can see it. So here we're looking from the front again. I just wanted to show you how we smoothed out that labrum without having to place an anchor in while maintaining good fixation on our biceps anchor. So that's solidly fixed. Now that labrum looks more like a normal labrum without having anything, without having anything that can catch or pinch or click in the joint. So we're going to finish up here and get you back to the recovery room shortly. I really hope this does the trick for you. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye.